Well, I think there's two kinds of video worlds emerging and at the same time converging. One of them is very web-oriented, short form snack, um, UGC uh, oriented video, small uh, average view lengths, and the other one is really internet television, and it's a, it's a television premium content experience, and um, the experience is, uh, is stellar and designed with the ad model and the quality uh, to be for that audience. Okay, great. So and you'll watch anywhere. Yeah. You'll watch whether or not you're on your laptop or your large screen TV or a, a device. You'll watch when you want, where you want, and what you want. And I actually think that's the new WWW. Okay. Is I, I think it has to do with that kind of consumption uh, uh, for a video. Move has uh, invented something we call adaptive streaming. And uh, what it does is it has the ability to detect on the client side how much bandwidth is available and uh, how much CPU rendering capabilities are available and then adjust the, um, uh, the quality of the stream to exactly match the capabilities of the machine you're on. And so that's one part of it. The other part is that when you ingest content, the publisher only has to ingest it one time and it prepares it for all future viewing experiences from a, a cell phone to a large screen television. It prepares that, stores it uh, on HTTP servers. And that's another key piece, is that it, it leverages common, um, non-proprietary uh, standard web servers as uh, its asset storage, and then uses a client-side technology, a plug-in for your browser, or a, uh, a piece on your set-top box, or a plug-in for your cell phone uh, to uh, match the capabilities of the machine or the capabilities of the client with the best possible uh, video. And so that, that's why it works, because it's matching. And then as the internet has fluctuations and um, uh, modulates up and down, the protocol breathes with, uh, with whatever's happening in the internet, which is a very non-deterministic network. Uh, it, it will tend to be really great at one point and then have buffering moments unless you're using Move, of course. And then we tend not to buffer. That, that yields a direct benefit to the content owner, which is longer view times. Uh, people come back, the quality's great. It doesn't buffer, it doesn't stall. So they keep watching, and you go from the average two to three minute video uh, averages on the internet for clip oriented world to 60, 70 minute average viewing length per session. And it's because of the quality. We do provide live and VOD both. So we do a lot of events. Uh, we do the, all the ESPN 360 work, which is live college sports and other sports. Uh, we did the live Oprah event, as an example. We just finished a part of the British Open. Uh, we did uh, uh, some of the Masters. I mean, so we, yes, we do a lot of live events, large audiences, uh, concurrent with um, uh, the video uh, uh, from that standpoint. We just announced uh, it with ABC uh, 815 million minutes of viewing in April, which is up uh, significantly year over year and quarter over quarter. So the, the people that are working with us continue to grow. Uh, uh, we continue to uh, introduce new technology and scale uh, to new providers. And, and our goal really is to provide an environment really where you can get all of your content on, on, and all your internet television uh, online very, very readily and very easily.